If you have been asked to create a reflective journal or a blog, then I'm going to show you how you can use the UAL My Blog platform in order to do that. Um, the, I can be the easiest way to get there will be to put in myblog.arts.ac.uk and then to click on Start Your Own. So, having done that, I am going to uh, log in. Uh, it says that I can actually log in via Moodle as well, so that's something that I can do should I need to. Um, I am going to give this a name. Uh, now this is for MA, I uh, say so it's for MAA students, it's for, for anybody who wants to uh, set up a reflective journal, um, but because this is uh, being set up for MAA students, this is why I'm going to use Unit 4. Um, however, MAA students, please feel free to come up with something slightly more creative than that. I'm going to click on um, I agree to terms and conditions and then click on create. Okay, fantastic. So having done that, I am going to, and by the way, this, this orange uh, warning sign up here, this is something, this is an update that's going to take place tomorrow. So this is not going to affect what you're, uh, what you're doing. So um, let's follow this advice, which is the first thing you should do is upload a profile picture of yourself. And it's saying, go to my account profile. And so let's do that. So that's my account and profile and change profile picture. Now you can actually see that I have already uploaded a profile picture. So let me just show you how that would work. So by, by default, you'd have something else. You'd click on change profile picture and then you can either drag and drop or select your file here. So I, I'm not going to update this because I already have one, but that is how you would do that. So. Now let's look at uh, my sites. Now I have got two sites here, uh, the one I've just created and one I created earlier. So let's have a look to start with at the one I created earlier. So I was um, a student uh, on the uh, teacher training course and we had to do exactly what you have been asked to do, which is to uh, set up a uh, reflective journal or reflective blog. This is done using my blog. Um, my blog, by the way, is based on um, a system called WordPress. So you can find tutorials about my blog just by searching for tutorials on WordPress. So what do we have here? We have Basically, we have um, posts. A blog is made up of a series of posts. And you can see that in these posts, I generally upload an image. And then I also have some text as well, and then a title. And what you'll see from this navigation down here is that you're able to, um, uh, able to access previous posts from this, uh, from this menu here. Okay, so that's just to give you a flavor of what a, uh, what a reflective journal might look like. So now let's go and look at the Unit 4 uh, reflective journal that we're, that we're just in the process of setting up. So this is our dashboard, and I am now going to create my first blog post. So let's just click on Write Your First Blog Post. So having done that, um, I've got, I'm just going to uh, click that away. So basically this is the title of my post um, or my reflection, and then this is the content. So I'm going to uh, just put a very simple title here, which will be uh, unit for, um, unit for, uh, task. Okay, so uh, I haven't really given that too much thought. Um, and then I've got some uh, Latin text here, uh, which I'm just going to take and I'm just going to paste that in. So in actual fact, you would of course be able to um, uh, create your text in something like Word and then add it to your blog um, later should you want to.
Okay, so that's given us some text. Now, if you want to add an image, and I definitely recommend doing this if you can, uh, if you've got something that's appropriate. So I'm just going to click on insert after. So basically my image is going to appear underneath uh, my second paragraph. And then I'm going to click on add image. And then I'm just going to click on um, upload. So there are numerous ways of doing this, but you know this is, this is a way that you can use. So this is an image that, uh, that I have. Um, and I just want to kind of use this as an example. I'm also going to write a caption. So I'll just say screenshot from CSM web page. Okay, perfect. So basically what I've created is I have a title, I have two paragraphs of text and a graphic. And that is my first post. So it's important, very important to click publish and then publish again. And what we can do is if we go, if we hover underneath unit four, we can click on visit site. And what that will give us is it will, it'll, it'll show us our text here and it will show us our graphic. Now, what I'm and then it's got all this stuff under here. So what I'm going to suggest is, is that you change the theme of your blog uh, or your reflective journal. And to do that, I'm going to click on dashboard. Uh, in fact, I'm going to click on themes. Now, what do I mean by theme? So actually, maybe this is the best way if, if I go back and then we compare this with this. This is my reflective journal. Okay, so these are doing essentially exactly the same things. Uh, text image in a, uh, on a web page, but it looks, looks, it looks very different. And what I'd like to show you how to do is uh, what to do is that you can, you can make your um, quite um, vanilla uh, flavored um, uh, web page look a little bit more dynamic. And let's just have a quick look at how you do that. So uh, under unit four, you click on themes. And uh, I'm going to suggest that you select something called uh, 2017. Now there are lots of themes here and you can choose any one of these. And in actual fact, if you're really keen, uh, you, can, you can select some that aren't here as well. Um, but I'm going to suggest as a starting point, you click on this 2017. Uh, so you can click on live preview. And having done that, you'll see that it's already going to give you a completely different look and feel. So this is now looking very similar to, to this one. And in actual fact, when I started off, I had the same graphic that you've got here at the top. Uh, and I was able to switch that out for an image, um, uh, like one of my own images. And, and this is something you can explore, you know, within your own time. So what I'm going to suggest is that you click on, uh, having selected this, you click on uh, activate and publish. And then your my blog is now using the 2017 theme instead of the, the default theme that it's set up to use. Um, and I think let's just get rid of this here uh, because this, this doesn't look very kind of professional. So I'm going to say um, reflections on um, unit four. And so in actual fact, I'm going to change this to MA ACE. So that's MA Arts and Cultural Enterprise. Uh, just because I feel that that sort of hangs together better. So let's now just have a look to see, and I'm, oh, of course, then you need to click publish again. Uh, publish is always important. Um, and I can kind of click that away. And let's just go back again to, um, to MA 
So it's now called MA ACE, you'll notice, as opposed to Unit 4, which I feel is actually, on reflection, much more appropriate. And now I'm going to click on Visit Site. And this is exactly what um, this, this I've chosen for this to be open to um, anybody to access. Um, and uh, so in actual fact, you would be able to share this URL with either your peers or family or friends or whatever, and they would be able to access this as well. Okay, so that, that's very much a, uh, a very kind of quick overview, but it should just be enough to get you up and running to be able to start posting to my blog.